Hi, I am Dr. Veem Murugesh. First of all, I am sincere thanks to Team 2020 Helpers for providing this platform. Then I welcome all the participants for this webinar interaction session. Today's webinar is on art of writing a research paper. This topic is familiar to all. I will provide a few tips to enhance your research paper. The reason beyond the selection of this topic is research paper plays a vital role in our life cycle. Even in the completion of UG, PG, and PhD, we had to submit our research paper. Based on the research paper, our thesis should be evaluated. After the completion of PhD, the research paper is required for guideship. Just as a faculty, we have to strengthen our educational system and our career will be based on the research paper. What is a research paper? Research is a word derived from French language researcher. Research. Re means once more or new. Search means finding odd things. As per our title, art of writing a new things or finding on paper. It can be formulated by primary sources, that is analyzing of new topics, ideas, and current problem. Then secondary sources, reviewing an articles and papers, then drafting a manuscript on defined themes. This is the evaluation of scientific method. It is started on the year 16th century by Francis Bacon, eliminate induction, then the foundation of the Royal Society in the UK on the year 1660. The first two scientific journals are published on the year 1665. Then the peer review begins on the year 1675. At the end of 19th century, the embryonic structure is introduced in the scientific discussion. The Nature Institute formal peer review was on the year 1967. The launch of Horvix and the rise of e journal on the year 1991. The question of peer review and their need for reproductivity will be started on the year 2014. A research paper. It is broadly classified into seven types. First one is analytical research paper. Can be drafted by comparing multiple points of views, then analyzing and draw a conclusion. Argumentative research paper. Comparing the problem of two viewpoints and give preference to one for drafting a paper. Then causes and effect of research paper. Drafting based on the effect and causes of current situation. The experimental research paper. It can be drafted by conducting experiment, analyzing, and providing data. With this data, we are drafting a paper. Problem solution research paper. It can be drafted by the current problem and solution for it. Then we have draft as per the situation. Then the research paper, it should be based on the literature review. Bloom taxonomy. So everywhere in the curriculum, we are using this Bloom taxonomy. Whether this Bloom taxonomy is incorporated with our research paper, Yes, research paper is based on Bloom taxonomy. First one is evaluation, comparison of new ideas. Then synthesis, using old concept to create a new ideas. Then analysis, identify and analysis of new ideas. Then application, applying knowledge, designing and problem solving method. 
comprehension, demonstrating and discussing knowledge, observation and recall of information. Why do we need to publish? First one, to disseminate our work to our community. Disseminate means to spread our findings to the community. Second one, to gain prestige and recognition from our peers. While publishing a research journal, we gain more recognition and peers from the higher authorities. While any committees like NAC, NBA, or any higher institution, first they inquire about your research paper. Hi guy, how many papers are you are published? At the time we said, so I have published 10 scopus, then A1 published journals, then three papers in the elsewhere and stringer. Automatically, our efficiency is highlighted at their place. Then to show our research performance to our funding body. If your research paper is based on the current situation, then your paper should provide a solution on the current situation of problems. Automatically, you will get the funding. So your research performance should be on helpful for getting fundings. Then to validate our findings. Because how do researchers communicate? The researchers communicate by two methods. One is formal and informal. Formal is nothing but controlled environment and informal is uncontrolled environment. Controlled environment means the researchers should communicate with peer review, then authors, editors regarding their scientific papers, data papers, reference books, and proceeding papers. Informal is nothing but it's a controlled, uncontrolled environment. Just they have interacted with interpersonal, private, or other any social medias like Facebook, Twitter, etc. Are you ready to publish? When anyone asking, we have only two answers. Yes, I am ready. No, I am not ready. If you are not ready, means your work has no scientific interest. That means your work is outdated one, and there should be no proper conclusion, and maybe you are going for the duplication of published work. If you are ready, the results are original and it follows a new methodology, then you have an enhancement on your published work. Then you have updated your data as per the new trends of the environment. If you are ready, you have to initiate few steps for writing a research paper. Most researchers are nervous or confused about writing an original research articles. So the best approach is go step by step and set smaller goals. So before starting your research, choose the right research questions. Then do a literature review. So based on the literature review, you have collect an idea for, the, for your research questions. After completing your research, structure your research articles, then formulate your paper. Writing the manuscript, it is the hardest part. It's getting started. Okay, let's go. Where are those journals? While we are publishing, as we are planning to publish a research paper, first we have to identify your best publishing platform because many scam journals are there on our websites. So to avoid that, first we have to prefer for a high international standard with good impact factor. 
So on that basic web of science, Scopus, Eric, Indrac, Dice, Latindex, Ulrich, all these international journals which provide high impact factors and they provide a good solution for the current problems. Selecting the right journal, I have previously explained about many scam journals are there. So you are writing the research paper is very much difficult. So that should be published on a current platform. So first you have to find out the academic and professional on the background of the research paper. Then research community and readership, that is your scope of the publishing journal. Then you have to find out the input journals and the publishers. Finally, you have to publish it. Previously, I said that Imran structure started in the year, uh, at the end of 19th century. So what is meant by Imran? That is introduction, methods, results, and discussion. So this should be termed as Imran structure. At present, many research journals, I mean 90 percentage of research journals are formulated by this Imran structure. Typical structure of a research articles. So first one, title, abstract, and key words. This will make them easy for indexing and searching. This Imran structure, your reader's time is scarce. So make your articles as short, that is concise as possible. Otherwise, the readers should not get a clear idea about your journal. Then conclusion, acknowledgement, reference, and sublimatory data. This part, we have to tell your own suggestion about your research work. So effective manuscript titles. It, this is the main content of a research paper. It should identify the main issue of the paper. The title should be concise and also accurate and ambiguous. That means you should be clear on your topic, specific and complete. You should use a professional language and avoid rarely used abbreviations because it's difficult for the readers to understand your concept by using the rarely used abbreviations. Then it should attract the readers. How? By your short titles and catchy titles. For example, action of antibiotics on bacteria. So this is the original topic. But the reverse title is inhibition of growth of mycobacterium tuberculosis by streptomycin. Here, from the title itself, you can identify the issue of the paper. Okay, it should be very clear and accurate about the content of the paper. Then keywords. The keywords are the labels of the manuscript. It is used by indexing and abstracting services. It should be specified and use only established abbreviations, example, DNA, then uh, M30, mixed concrete, like that. For example, an experimental study on evacuated tube solar collector using supercritical CO2. So here the keywords are solar collector, supercritical CO2, solar energy, solar thermal utilization. So these are the words which are the label of the manuscript. Then abstract it is the uh, heart of the research paper. Keep it as brief as possible. On abstract, we have to summarize the problem, methods, result, and conclusion of your research paper. It is clearly written and easy to understand. So make sure it is accurate and specific 
while also being very catchy. Right, lost. So accurately reflect the content of the paper. So every research paper is initiated by the main content. First content is abstract. So this abstract should be written after finding all your data, all your formulation of like introduction, methodology, methods, and your conclusion. After this part, what do you have to write? This abstract. So this is the final part of your research paper while writing. So you, would, you should follow the rule, 10 rules. So first two sentences you have to describe about your aim of the research paper. Next to two to three sentences about the materials and methods of research paper. Then again, two to three sentences, you have to explain the results. Next to two sentences, you have to explain your conclusion or discussion of your results. Introduction. So the introduction part should contain these three content. That is explaining the problem then describing your approach, then mentioning the existing solution and the limitations. So the first highlighted word explains the problem. That is the drive towards a sustainable chemical industries have resulted in a variety of research publication into the development of high performance catalytic materials, which can promote desired reaction more effectively and selectively. Here you are explaining the problem, whether the chemical industries have high performance catalytic materials for getting more effective and selectively reactions. So you are explaining the problem. Second one, describe your approach. The second highlighted person, the challenge existing to develop a more efficient practical immobilization techniques that allows high active metal nanocatalysts to the S post and find out to easy to handle matrices. Here, for first highlighted portion, we are explaining the problem. Second high highlighted portion, we are describing your approach. So your approach should be a new challenge one to develop more efficient. Third one, mention existing solution and limitation. Okay, what is your uh, existing solution? Now, the existing solution we have mentioned that on paper synthesis is the acoustic reduction process of 4 hp to investigate an application in liquid phase catalytic reaction which produce a more effective and results when compared to the or conventional method au ball zinc oxide powder so you are providing the results that is the new research work should be more effectively than the old conventional method so on the while writing <clears throat> introduction part, we have to formulate these three things on the introduction. Then methods. So the method should describe how the problem was studied and you have to include the detailed information to allow the uh, repetition. Do not describe the previous public published procedure, but it should be cited clearly. Identify the equipments and materials used in your research channel and use a proper notation, including chemical formulas and symbols. Don't forget to present the controlled use. So here, the highlighted portion, they explain about the detailed information of your research. See here, the molecular weight of uh, cathodic poly dimethyl ammonium chloride have 3 to 10 power 5 and have a charge density is 5.5. Here, you have described the information about your product. And also the second one, highlighted portion, according to your previous report, that should be cited very clearly. Then results. It includes only data of primary importance. That is your, the primary data should be the main and unexpected findings. So that finding should be a new one than the old idea. So that should be presented first. That is the primary data. The sublimated data should be based upon your 
secondary importance data which is coincide with the old ideas the new subheadings to keep results of the same type together and avoid redundancy the redundancy means you should not include the unexpected results unwanted results that is correlated with your research paper okay that should be totally avoided what you find and that data should be coincide with your research paper that should be established on your results of your research paper then you should use the clear figures and tables with high clarity so this is the most important point and also provide statistical analysis now there is many statistical softwares are there even in the excel they have a regression analysis uh then anova software so many statistical software so that so you have to produce a statistical analysis of your research paper then visualization the caption and legend should be self explanatory so while seeing the uh, figure we should understand without any explanation then maximize the visual versus space use color only when necessary so don't provide many colors on the graph okay so on in graph you should avoid uncrowded plots restricted data sets then well selected scales axis label label size this should be present in your on your graph you should avoid the uncrowded plots okay you should uh, you should uh, uh, you should disturb your clarity and also the researchers or viewers can't identify what you are going to explain on the analysis then photos the photos should be scale markers do not manipulate the image to enhance the analysis then analysis tables see here the first table needs a table because it contains various analysis okay but it should be in a paragraph so that content should need a table second one does not need a table see here the temperature 24 degree number of experiment is 5 aeration of growth is positive the growth of 70 so only the few data that is two data are present so instead of this two data you should avoid this table instead of table you have provide a paragraph like growth medium aeration was essential for the growth of coli color at room temperature of 24 degree stationary cultures bacterial growth was not measurable where in aerated cultures a substantial growth was evident instead of providing a table you you should write a write in a paragraph manner then discussion so in discussion you want to suggest your own idea there is interpretation of results it is the most important section of your research paper make the discussion correspond to the results and complement them compare the published result with your own so you the research paper that this the result discussion should be mostly based on your comparison of the conventional method now you are now you are finding a new uh, data new findings that should be manipulated with the old ideas so that part should be on discussion you should avoid the statement that go beyond what the result can support that is to avoid the redundancy then not specific expressions the new terms not already defined or mentioned in your paper speculation on possible interpretation that are not rooted in fact so so this avoided content is mainly on you should not add unwanted things on your research paper that is unwanted data which is not related to the research so these things should be avoided the final is conclusion 
or conclusion part we have to explain how your work advances the present state of knowledge do not repeat the results or the abstract discuss uses extension or application such as future experiment that is the future scope of your experiment then be clear to help the reviewer and editors judge your work and its impact acknowledgement your work your research should be acknowledged to your advisors their financial supporters then proof readers and the material suppliers a reference do not include too many references okay your references should fully observe the materials you are referring the self citation is totally avoided okay conform to any requirement outlined in the guide for authors now there is many reference managers that is reference tools are there that's mendeley many softwares are there for the reference purposes so the guidelines for such paper so this should be taken from the elsewhere on the many journals the so abstract should be the word limitation should be 150 to 200 words the graphical abstract should be the photo size 16.6 to 3.8 cm that other biography should be within 150 words the introduction part that is maximum 400 pages it should be on one page with one to four paragraph methods maximum 750 words with two to three pages a results should be maximum 1000 words with two to three pages which includes the figure and the tables the discussion part 1000 to 1500 words which includes three to four pages so the grammar part whatever tense is used be consistent and don't switch back and forth in the same paragraph if you are using a past tense that past tense should be continued throughout the paragraph you should not kind of just change the past tense to present tense on the next paragraph that is what you did can be in past tense but what you found that should be in the present tense so avoid long passive voice or shit technical writing so this is the abstract or summary of my presentation so the title should be attractive and indicative the keywords should be relevant the abstract should describe your entire study the introduction part should have sufficient background about your work the methods should include the detail of all experiments you are conducted the result and discussion should answer the question you raised in the introduction part that conclusion should include your findings reference section should list every sources appendix should include the additional data of your findings acknowledgement should include all the sources of support for writing your research paper footnotes should mention the necessary additional information the tables figure graph should complete clear and attractive Revi revised before submission see here this is a, a pictorial presentation first we are writing a research paper that is drafting we are submitting the draft to the editorial members after they are after they are revise they have suggest a few things to enhance our research paper that is you have to revise after revise again you are drafting then again revise then again drafting then again revise finally a paper is published so the moral of this picture is while writing a research paper the main important thing is you should be patient without patient you can't publish the very good manuscript okay so be patient while writing a research paper so while 
submitting a research paper for A1 index journals, there is two things will occur. One is accepted and uh, rejected. Accepted, it is very rare case, but it will be happens. If your uh, paper is accepted, then you are so lucky. Rejected, most probably 40 to 90 papers are rejected due to some enhancement work. So that time don't get despair. It should be happens to everybody. First try to understand why our paper is rejected. If you submit to another journals, begins with a new manuscript that is taking advantages of the reviewers. Why our journal paper is rejected? Okay, what are the things the reviewer had to enhance our work? So the reviewer comment is important for enhancing our work. Next, they may review your manuscript for the next journal too. Read the guide for others of new journals again and night. So this is an important one. While publishing a research journal, you should first study what the guide, what the uh, what the guide that's what the guidance of the journal is going to tell about the others. So read the guide for others of your new journals. So covering letter. So the covering letter is uh, first initial part of submitting your manuscript. So this covering letter is directly speak to the editors about your finding and the motivation of your paper. Then you have to highlight the novelty and significance of results. Then you have to say straight the final approval of co-authors. Okay. Then you have to note any special requirements or you have to say about the conflict of interest. See, a sample paper which have final approval from all others, then there should be an explanation about your research work. Finally, the suggested reviewers, this all the things should be included in the covering letters. Then conflicts of interest. So the conflicts of interest should be based on your direct financial, that is employment, grants, ownership, patents, or indirect financial by consultancy, mutual fund, ownership, experts, the career and intellectual by your promotion and uh, rivalry by institutional or your personal belief. Peer review. Actually, the peer review will enhance our quality the validity and originality of our research paper. So normally it will help us to improve our quality of paper. The publishers are outside the academic process are not prone to prejudge of or favor for them. Publishers facilitate the review process by investing in online review system and providing tools to help the editors and reviewers. So after the reviewing, the results should be accepted or minor changes, so no problem on that, your paper should be accepted. Major revision or rejected. So this part, you should be concentrated what the reviewer has said to revise the manuscript. If you revise the manuscript as per their view, then your paper should be accepted. See again, uh, pictorial, a representation of your research paper. So here, many of them have handled with their weapons. So that means if uh, you are drafting a manuscript while you are submitting the manuscript to the reviewers, so the weapon handle persons are reviewers, what they are doing means they are enhancing your research work. How? By revising your manuscript. By continuous revising your manuscript, your research paper will have very good improvement and quality. It's okay. So they are increasing our quality of paper. Whatever, finally, our paper will be accepted. 
and it will give a very good impact factor on the current situation or the our current society what leads to acceptance so your acceptance the year word refers to attention to details see is check and double check your work see is consider the review comments e is english must be good as possible p is presentation is important take your time with revision acknowledge those who have helped you new original and previously unpublished the c refers to critically evaluate your own manuscript e is ethical rules must be obeyed so for this acceptance this content should be present on your research paper automatically your paper should be accepted that's the word acceptance actually what happens while you are submitting a paper after submitting your paper the paper should be most to the reviewer so the journals should assign a reviewer to review your paper okay so if it is satisfy the basic requirements then automatically the paper should be published otherwise the reviewer should give some suggestions and ask to revise your paper then again you have to revise after revise if it is satisfied immediately your paper should be published so other editor and reviewers are the key factors to enhance your research paper what are reviewers looking for they are looking for the importance of hypothesis originality clear progression about your research paper and how you are presented that is well presented on your research paper responding to the reviewer comments you should not react negatively of the reviewer comment for example the second one reviewer comment the other failed to reference the work of smith etl who solved the same problem 20 years ago so the reviewer has commented we have failed to explain the reference work of smithel 20 years ago see how we, we are negatively response how we did not think anybody had read that actually their solution is better than ours so it is not proper way uh, for providing you know answer it is a negative approach so the correct response is the reviewer raises an interesting concern however our work is based on completely different first principle and has much more attractive graphical user interface here you are suggesting your ideas new innovative ideas and methodology regarding your reviewer comment instead of negatively your approach is very positively in the correct response authorship definition so the authorship definition should be based on first author and co-author the first author should conduct and supervise the data analysis and the proper presentation and interpretation of the results the co-author which helps or the contribute the data analysis and reviewing of each draft then they must be able to present the results defend the implications and discuss the study limitations so abuses to to be avoided that is ghost and gift others what is the ghost and gift of they what contributing anything to the paper regarding your data or your, your experimental work or any field work they should not contribute anything but they need a other authority of your paper so they ask okay you can add me as a third other or fourth other. so this thing should be totally avoided plagiarism plagiarism is a important tool for original <laughs> important tool for a originality plagiarism is a appropriate of another person ideas process results or words without giving appropriate credit including those obtained through confidential review of others so you should not copy anyone ideas or anyone results that should be easily identified by the many tools like google plagiarism checker x 
So many softwares are available. So be original and don't plagiarize. What are the things it should be plagiarized? Word, ideas, diagrams, figures, tables, computer programs, findings, writing, information, lectures, presentation, printed materials, electronic media. So these things are plagiarized very easily. Plagiarism is easily detected, but and also it easily avoided by means of cross checks. Nowadays, many uh, softwares are there, many online softwares are there to avoid these plagiarisms. For grammatical, that should be Grammarly, Ginger software, that quail boards are used to paraphrase your words to avoid the plagiarism. So this is the plagiarism report. So the blue color indicates, indicates that is no matching test, that is zero percentage. So green word one to 24 is that should be a no matching test with the other manuscripts. Yellow should refer 25 to 49 percentage of matching test with other journals. Orange 50 to 75 percentage of matching test with other journals. The rent is 75 to 100 percentage of matching test. So normally the testing similarity is 10 to 15 percentage. The journals should are acceptable. So this is just more than 25 percentage. So they are treated as a high percentage of plagiarism and your paper should be rejected. Preparing your article. How you can prepare your article? You have to spend time on making sure your paper is clear and concise. Then you have to share your data. Then it is easy to understand the chart and professional illustration. Then it is used to clear and correct the manuscript languages. Then SEO of your articles by using strong keywords in your titles, headings, captions, then linking your paper with other content on the web. The journal evaluation tools. So the journal evaluation tools should be identified by means of your impact factor, H index, then Scopus H index, then Skymago journals and country ranking. The impact factor is a bibliometric indicator which measures the relevance and importance in terms of citation of scientific journals. I, I already said, when you are writing a research paper, you have to publish in a correct platform. The correct platform can be identified by means of these impact factors. Why publishing in impact journals? You will gain a wider audience of readers and your contribution will get more visibility. You will develop a successful research career. Most of the research policy guidelines and research evaluation exercise should be considered as a key factor. I have previously said you have to disseminate your work to the community. So monitoring your article. After publishing your journal, you should not, okay, our work is completed. Then we will be sure, no, not like that. You should monitor your articles how many of them are cited at our research channel. So the citation is the dissemination, that is spreading of our work to the community. So this is the first identification tool. Where I can look this citation? You can look this citation by Web of Science, Google Scholars, and Scopus. So here the red line indicator, how many of them are cited. So if you are cited, okay, 10 members are cited, means the 10 members or view our research articles. So our work is started spreading to the community. Then it will bring happiness to our ourselves for publishing this type of research channels. So how we calculate the impact factors? Okay, the impact factors can be calculated by citation divided by publication. For example, in 2008, the impact factor can be calculated. See here, the total articles 
the year 2006 is published 150 and 2007 is 150 articles. So totally uh, the year 2006 and 2007, they have published 300 articles, but the viewers of viewing the 300 articles is 600 members. That is 600 citations. So the impact factor is 600 citation divided by 300 articles. That is here two. So here the impact factor is two. So the influence of impact factor. So fundamental life impact factor should have uh, more than uh, three. They should be taken from the elsewhere. From their uh, data, uh, this graph should be plotted. The neuroscience is two. So on each domain, see here the chemistry and chemical engineering, they have attained nearly 1.4, then earth science is one, then social science is uh, 0.5, then mathematics and computer science, which is less than 0.5. So these data are manipulated and we have found out, oh, this is the impact factors of our journal. The impact factor is nothing but it's a citation divided by the publications. As with the impact factors, the H index and the I10 index are used as a metric for journals. The H index is a short of high risk index from the author George E. Hirish. He has discovered it on the year 2005. H index is an other level matrix that attempts to measure the productivity and citation. So here, for example, the webology has index H index of 21 based Google Scholar. How there means the journal has published 21 papers. On 21 papers, the citation also is 21. So the H index should be 21. If the I10 is a line of journal matrix, it was introduced by the Google Scholar in the year 2011. So here the concept is the total number of published paper with at least 10 citation. If you paper, if you publish 21 journals, but the citation should be 10. If it is citation is 10, then you will be I10 index journals. So these are the various tools for research paper for analyzing, writing, publications, and assessment of your research paper. For writing tools, we have Microsoft Word, Latex, Dropbox Papers, Open Office, LibreOffice, Scrivengers, and Google Docs. For reference tool, we have Zotra, Mendeley, EndNote, Reference One, Citavi, Paperfile, Jab Reference. For research tools and software, we have Reference Write, then Microsoft Excel, Google Scholar, Message Get, Plagiarism Checker, then Project Management Tools. For grammar, we have using MS Software, MS Word Spelling, Grammar Check, Grammarly, Pro Writing Aid, Correct English, Style Writer, Ginger Software. Then Journal Search. You can search the journal in RSC, Scopus, Thomas Reuters Aid Search Engines, then Springler, then Sites Direct. There are many options. Then you can search on the Google and other search engines. <laughs> the importance to remember, preparation is much important but don't spend too much time on your preparation. Submit to the right journals, then submit to one journals only. Check the English, then pay attention to the structure, that is Imran structure, pay attention to the journal requirement and be honest. I have made, <clears throat> I may have to change something. I have to adapt to international standards. That means I have to publish the journals. You know, with the high impact factor like Ailsworth, Springer's, the year one index channels. So for that, I have to write less papers, but it should be better. The more writing, more paper is not a matter. The publishing of paper with high impact factor should enhance your career. Then you have to search for relevant research questions on your area. So these things should I have to change it. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for a uh, patient uh, for listening this webinar. Uh, due to pandemic situation, be stay at home, stay safe. Uh, once, uh, once again, I thank all the participants uh, for viewing this interaction session and thanks to 
30, 2020 uh, for providing this platform <coughs> regarding this topic. Once again, I thank you all. Thank you.